Hello, curious, and welcome back. Being a princess in the real world doesn't always mean living a fairy tale life. The Emir of Dubai, and one of the most powerful and influential politicians in the world, is in the news again. His youngest wife and their two children managed to escape from him, which caused an international scandal. The woman was very lucky, which her two daughters were not. Both also tried to escape, but they were captured and imprisoned, and one of them was never heard of again. The other, on the other hand, is still fighting for her freedom. A few days ago, shocking new footage of Latifah sent to the BBC had come to light. What did it reveal? What fate has befallen on the princess? And what authorities were interested in her fate? And what did the Dubai royal family have to say about her? Stay with us until the very end to find out what happened to these women closest to the Emir and for the latest news on what's happening to Latifah. But before that, don't forget to turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. You may have heard the scandal surrounding the cruel fate of the daughters of the Dubai's ruler, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Over the years, they made several attempts to escape, but were captured by people working for their father and returned to the country. One of them literally disappeared. The other caused a huge stir in the world and her desire is to free herself from the tyranny of the Emir. The case of Princess Latifa and Shamsa has been in the news in recent years firstly because one of them had made her last failed attempt to escape in 2018, and it is about that that we will talk about today. Not long after, after, in 2019, another scandal broke out thanks to the youngest wife of the 71-year-old Mohammed, namely Princess Haya bint Al Hussein, who is the daughter of the late King of Jordan and the sister of the current king. She is the only one who managed to escape the oppression of the Emir, and she was also able to do so with her joint two children who are minors and found asylum in the UK. Hiding Princess Haya with her daughter and son in Europe, she eventually managed to get a divorce. We won't tell you more about that today, but it's a very broad and complicated topic, and we have more to tell you about Latifa and new information regarding her. In short, the escape of Mohammed's youngest wife, given the constant media attention, kept the memory of the other two women, who were not so lucky, alive. And in addition, the press was constantly writing about the fact that the wealth and splendor of the Persian Gulf palaces were overshadowed by the allegations of torture, kidnapping, and even the taking of others' lives. It was said that Princess Haya decided to take such a desperate step because in addition to wanting to protect her children, from their own father, she likely learned frightening information about Shamsa and Latifa. Thanks to her courage and the divorce case, much of the information that had been circulating for a long time was confirmed, and it turned out that the court agreed with the version of the princess, who among other things spoke of intimidation by her husband and revealed that he organized the kidnapping of his daughters. According to the court report, it was concluded that the ruler of Dubai might be guilty of many crimes. During the trial, it was confirmed that in the case of Shamsa and Latifa, there had indeed been kidnappings ordered by him and that one of them had certainly been tortured. The judge that was overseeing the case also stressed that Muhammad had subjected his wife to a veritable campaign of intimidation for some 20 years, and in doing so, had broken British and international law. They stressed that Dubai's ruler's approach to his family members, depriving them of freedom against their will, and among other things, forcing his daughters to marry, violated fundamental human rights. However, if you think that after such events everything is cleared up, we immediately will tell you that for now, nothing of that sort has happened. Still, nothing is known about Samsha, whom nobody has seen for 21 years. A brief reminder, she was the first daughter of an Arab sheikh, Emir of Dubai, Prime Minister and Vice President of the United Arab Emirates, who tried to start a new life away from her father, or at least the first whose attempt the world is aware of. And for her, the year 2000 and running away was the end of everything. She was just 18 when she tried to run away, taking the opportunity to stay in the UK on a holiday day trip with her extended family. She even managed to escape for a while, but eventually her father's men found her in London, and it was from the streets of the English capital that she was forcibly flown back to Dubai, and to this day, her fate remains unknown. The world remembered her through Latifa, the Emir's second daughter, who tried to escape twice. She made her first attempt at the age of 16, but was caught at the border. She meticulously planned her next attempt for seven long years. The 34-year-old had the help of trusted people, including a former officer of the French special services. Her latest endeavor was in 2018, and it also was during a different time which was definitely more technologically developed. And that very fact made what happened to her impossible to forget. She knew that running away again was a huge risk, and if she failed, she could even lose her life. So for her own protection, she recorded a 40-minute video that went online, and in it she confessed that among other things that after her first failed attempt, she was in prison 
imprisoned, beaten, and tortured for three years. She claimed that her father is capable of ending the life of anyone who violated his reputation and image and added that if people were watching this video, it meant that she was in danger. The video had moved people around the world, and thanks to her courage, the controversial confession has drawn the attention of world governments and international human rights groups. However, it did very little to help her. Ultimately, her second escape attempt also ended badly for her. She was found after eight days, and an account of a brutal capture of the princess by Muhammad's men was given by the friend who accompanied her. For a very long time, it was not known what was happening to Latifa and whether she was even alive. None of her friends at the time had any contact with her, and the worst possible scenario was assumed. In December of 2018, the UN Commissioner for Human Rights, Mary Robinson, traveled to Dubai to take pictures of the princess and tell the press. And while it was stated that at the time the princess was alive and well, many were of the opinion that she looked as if she was under the influence of some substances and that she was being held against her will. After seeing the photos, a friend who had previously helped her escape stated that Latifa looked empty, unhappy, and heavily medicated. Although the internet was flooded with the hashtag Free Latifa, it had no effect on her world. At the time, the theory was that apparently the palace was propagating a story that both she and Shamsa were suffering from mental health issues and were getting the care they needed from qualified doctors. And it has been exactly three years this month that since Latifa attempted to flee and lost her freedom as a consequence. During this period, nothing has appeared in the media to assure the world that she is safe, except for one questionable photo that was mentioned above. Then suddenly another video of the princess appeared and shocked the world. Just a few days ago, a video was released of Latifa asking for help and talking about her situation. According to the findings, she was secretly sending messages to her friends from a smuggled phone in 2019. The video saw the light of day through the people whom she had been directing her videos to for months, and she has stopped doing so for some time now, and contact with her has ceased, and her friends are afraid that something bad has happened to her. So they decided not to wait and shared Latifa's footage with the BBC, asking for help and appealing to the UN to intervene in the release of the daughter of Emir of Dubai. The videos were made in the bathroom because the other rooms had no doors. Latifa was told of being imprisoned in a home detention center guarded by Emirati police officers outside and inside the building. There are also references to, among other things, how she was treated by the officers who caught her while she was on the run, and she reported that she was under the influence of strong sedatives and narcotics most of the time. According to her, she only regained consciousness when she was back, and she was transported to the United Arab Emirates by a private helicopter. In the video, the 34-year-old says that she's being held against her will and that she fears for her safety and life every single day. In the online video, she says outright that she has become a hostage and regularly hears threats, including that she will remain locked up for the rest of her life and will never see the sun. She also described that the villa in which she is imprisoned in has been curtained and barred windows and that she cannot open them or go outside to get fresh air. In the video provided, in addition to looking sad and frightened, she spoke fluent English and her words sounded logical. Among those who have spoken about the need to help the princess in recent days is Mary Robinson, the former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights and former President of Ireland, who described Latifa as a troubled young woman after meeting her in 2018. Now the politician says that she has been horribly deceived by the princess's family, and the woman has joined for calls for the international action to determine Latifa's current status and her whereabouts. The United Nations and Britain have begun demanding proof from the Sheikh that the 34-year-old is safe. The United Arab Emirates, though its embassy is in London, has issued a response to calls for proof of the princess's life. And according to the assurance, the Dubai ruler's daughter is being cared for at home, supported by her relatives and doctors. The statement added, and we quote, we want to thank those who have expressed concern for her well-being despite a report that certainly does not reflect the real situation. Her condition continues to improve and we hope that she will return to public life in her own time. However, no actual photo or video was included to confirm that the princess is safe and whether she is alive. The letter also makes no further mention of her health status. Comments began to circulate that Latifa was suffering from bipolar disorder. However, no evidence has been presented in this case, and her confinement in a home prison is described by herself as a care and concerned. So the statement of the Dubai royal family does not convince people who are concerned about the fate of the princess. Kenneth Roth, the head of Human Rights Watch, a non-governmental human rights organization, described Latifa's family's words as a cover-up. Whether this situation will develop further is not answered right at this time. What will be the fate of the princess? What do you think? Will the footage released by the BBC and in the interest in her case from important organizations and high-profile people lead to her release? Will Latifa still have a happy ending? Have you heard about this case or the fate of the princess 
Haya who managed to escape her husband's oppression? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we shall see you in the next video.